Ads are everywhere. Would you believe that the average person sees nearly 3,000 ads every day? That seems unbelievable, but advertising has become so common that ads are virtually everywhere we look. Furthermore, most advertisements today don't seem like advertising. Newspapers and television are no longer the only way for companies to reach their target audience. Today, advertisers are far more subtle in their selling. Take a look. Your clothes may have a brand name or logo on them. Many designer brands like Gucci and Louis Vuitton display their logo prominently on their clothes and bags. Branding is also very important for big sports companies and professional sports teams. For example, Nike has spent hundreds of millions of dollars creating and promoting their instantly recognizable swoosh logo. Your favorite forms of entertainment are also filled with ads. Companies actively seek to sponsor concerts and TV shows. For example, The Coca Cola Company sponsored American Idol, one of the most popular shows on American television since its first season. Similarly, many sports tournaments would be impossible to hold if not for money given by sponsors, who want their ads clearly visible in stadiums. In movies, you'll see characters driving a particular brand of car or eating a popular snack. Because companies pay for their products to be there. In the James Bond film Casino Royale, car manufacturer Ford paid about $22 million for James Bond to drive one of its cars for only three minutes. The problem for advertisers is that people have learned to ignore traditional advertising, such as TV ads and billboards. Advertisers must find new ways to get the public to notice them and continue noticing them. The key word now is engagement. Companies are trying to create deeper, more interactive experiences, which could be anything from contests to parties to charity runs, and link the experience with the brand. Companies have started using the internet to reach a wider audience. For example, Brand websites can be accessed by anyone, anywhere. Advertisers are using social networking sites like Facebook to post videos and entertaining stories that feature the company's products. Their goal is for people to share these posts with their friends and eventually reach millions of people. The energy drink company Red Bull has been very successful in creating online content that viewers respond to. By sponsoring and making short films focused on extreme sports like skateboarding and surfing, Red Bull has attracted more than hundreds of millions of views on its YouTube channel. Advertisers are finding new and different ways to grab our attention. As a result, ads are getting more creative. Instead of telling us what is so special about a product, advertisers are making products part of our lives. Brand engagement gone wrong. Take a walk down the street and count the number of advertisements you see. With so many brands and companies competing for your attention, advertisers have to work harder than ever. One popular method of engaging consumers is by holding competitions where consumers come up with their own commercials or slogans. These have proven to be successful and do increase the number of people who come into contact with the brand. But allowing strangers to be active in a brand's identity can lead to great problems. Here are two cases of advertising gone wrong. Not a model spokesperson. When fashion brand American Apparel introduced its new range of plus sized clothing, The company held a contest to find new models. In the contest, women could submit photos of themselves that showed off how nice the company's clothes look on larger women. 
But when the company advertised that it was looking for the next big thing, some women were offended because they thought the company was being disrespectful to women. An American actress called Nancy Upton decided to enter the contest to show the world how insensitive she thought American apparel was. Nancy took photos of herself in poses that made fun of the contest. She wore American apparel clothes and copied the style of their ads, but also ate fattening food like burgers in the photos. The photos became an internet hit, and she won the popular vote. While American Apparel did not recognize Nancy as the winner, her photos started a big discussion about how bigger women were treated in fashion, and Nancy became a hero to many. Crashing the commercial, car manufacturer Chevrolet thought they had a good idea: organize a contest where people could create their own commercials for Chevrolet's newest and biggest vehicle, the Tahoe. The company supplied video and sound clips, and people could use computers to mix them and add their own text. The contest accomplished its goal of promoting the Tahoe, as more than thirty thousand videos were made. While many entries focused on the best features of the truck, a few were less flattering. They pointed out that the Tahoe was bad for the environment, and that owning a big vehicle can sometimes lead to unsafe driving. Unfortunately, the negative videos spread fast. And Chevy got as much bad publicity as it did good publicity.